Dave's been on YouTube channel. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Mystery Machine Build Series. Today we're back on a GoPro 7, our OG camera that we were using for about two years before I bought an 8. Clearly it didn't work out with the 8. I think it's something with the shop lights makes it flicker because outside they do fine. But hey, listen, we're over that. We're gonna get some good footage today. We got the van outside. The Vargas brothers were saying, hey, listen, this thing needs some break-in time. We're not used to that on our piston engine. We just give them a couple couple of heat cycles and they're good. That's what that's the break-in. So I mean you guys what you said it needs to idle for about 30 minutes or so to yeah, kind yeah. of yeah, seal up. The oil, get all that assembly lube and metal out of the oil. Okay. Is she warm right now? Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's fire her up. Let's hear this thing. Alright, Cooper. It sounds a little better in the mornings, I hear. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, John, nice job on the wiring, bro. Let's hear it. What are you doing, man? Don't stop pressing it. Sounds good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Just by revving it. It's got that little turbo on it. Yeah. A little back housing. Hey man, don't, don't call that turbo little. All right, bro. Sorry, <laughs> forgot that's big for you guys. It does work. It's little, but <laughs> it pumps it. What a beast, dude! This thing sounds so cool. Yeah. I love it. All right, bro. You getting ready to drive into the shop? We crash into the shop. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was third. Yeah, I think it was. <laughs> I was like, wow, it's really right, lazy. I can't drive it in. Yeah, I'll drive it. Yeah, someone else drive it in. What, you just can't handle it yourself? You just yeah, couldn't man. resist? I was doing burnouts. It was 10 <laughs> seconds. He had to be he first. He moved it like not two feet. Hey, it had yeah, yeah, that's why he was going. All right, hold on, hold on. Just right. one-up him a little bit. Is it tuned close it, enough it, to yeah, one-up him? Yeah, it was a landing of fire, so it was, it, yeah, the tune was good. We did it! We did it! <laughs> I solved it. Truck behind you. I stalled it. Never you mind. stalled it, bro. I put. I tried to change the rear limiter. Hey, I don't want to. Go I, I don't want to spray rocks in the truck. Oh, it's got mud flaps. The fan, we're using a fan that's, uh, we just reverse the polarity on it and it's not really working. You want to back onto the roller real quick? We can push it, we can push it. 
Oh, we gotta change oil? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta change oil. Alright, let's go up. Yeah, we'll go more back. But... Sounds good. <laughs> we can go up all the way. Alright, guys, so oil change to get the braking oil out of it. And then uh, this thing's ready to rip. Yo, it did a burnout, though. Yo, it went through all three gears, but easy. It, it's it, too easy. It was too easy. I was like, Rev limiter's still at 5,000 yeah. too? Yeah. So it's got another 5,000 to go. It's gonna be nuts, dude. I'm so excited. What do you think? What's your review after being the first guy to do a real burnout in it? Yo, this thing's <laughs> stupid. Bro. Like, well, dude, look at the contact patch. It's five inches wide. It just went through all three gears like nothing. Yeah. It's on wastegate spring pressure. It's not even turned up at all. I mean, I bet you so, it made six or seven pounds. Of I feel like it would be useless to race a boost past where it's at. We'll right have now. to put a tire. We'll have to put a like a Dana 40 yeah. in it in the tire. Yeah, Mike, yeah. That fitting is leaking. Yeah, yeah that's a little oh, bit of water. A little bit. We gotta tighten it. Okay, cool. <coughs> Dude, so other than that, bro, I mean, like, look at the dry shaft angle wasn't even bad either. Once it's, it's down, so much better. So Everything much better. clears, all yeah. coolers, all that stuff. Everything's so. great. Guys, all we're gonna do now is change the oil. Uh, John's gonna talk to the engine for a little bit, tell it, you know, massage it. Massage it. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's Represent. doing the transmission. Doing get it, uh, get the oil changed, back it on the rollers, and make some power. So, what's the plan power wise? What are we going for? Because you guys are saying these things need some break in time. So, you want to oh, wait till Houston break, to turn it up? Yeah, break in right now is gonna be gate pressure. We're gonna, when we get to Houston, we're gonna put the stuff we're missing, like, you know, the, the temperature sensors, yeah. for the transmission, and all that stuff. Huh. And we're gonna turn it up big time. Because what they, these things build compression after a couple thousand miles. Yeah. So when you first tune, uh, turn them on, you know all the apex seals have to seat in, break in, and it's not, you know, it's not like rings. It takes a lot longer to seat, okay. to seat in. After that, you know, after in Houston, after the engine's broken in full compression, then we'll tune it, like fine tune it. But yeah. right now we're gonna tune it overly rich to compensate as you guys beat on it in the next month. It would well, actually. I mean, we know you guys us? are not gonna take this thing out to church or stuff so like that. So it's gonna be rich, and the more you beat on it, it'll fall into where it's supposed to be. At. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. All right, let's uh, we're gonna throw some oil back in this thing, back it on the Dyna. Cooper, do you remember the day? Oh, I forgot about all that. The mystery power. machine made a whopping 40 horsepower. It was down a cylinder. With the stock engine down a cylinder, we're back today. <laughs> You're wing, dude. Down horse. All right. Ready? We might have to rock it a little bit. Brakes. Nailed it. All right, hold it there for a minute. We'll strap it in. You may be wondering, folks, they're going to burn through these tires real quick. But not to worry, I was able to get four tires on Amazon Prime for $100. The Mystery Machine build just gets better and better at every corner.
<laughs> what is it, stall when it's in third? Now, same boost. Uh, it's like half a degree of timing more. Jesus. Yeah. These it's things are really like sensitive timing. to timing. And that oh, was like yeah. flat 10 EFRs. So I pull more and more out of it. Uh, Damn. It's got a lot of potential. I don't I don't know how far we want to push it. I'm breaking the... I can't resist it. <laughs> I think it's time for you to do a burnout. You or Cooper. I think Cooper needs to do a burnout. Yeah. I think it needs to happen. No point in blowing it up. Ah. I mean, 300 horsepower thing is going to rip the tire to 30. Like I was on that computer, though. This is going to be crazy. 11 yeah. pounds of boost. Yeah. And we're making 300 at the tires already. Yeah. All right, let's go do a burnout. All right. <laughs> So the Vargas brothers want to leave it right at 300 horsepower, let it break in over the next month before the Houston cars Houston. And then when they get there, they want to turn it up, but it's best. 20, 5, 30 pounds. Probably. You want to go yeah. 30 pounds? <laughs> so they want, it's best to let the engine break in. The Dorito is a little bit more sensitive than the piston engine. Look at the startup tune. Hold up. Damn, that was That's sick. Like <laughs> Send it? Yeah. That's the plan here. Just gonna do a little. Uh, I think we're gonna go over to the track. Right. Mass build it. I'll see if we can go over to Speedway. All right, guys. So our good friends at Showtime Speedway just gave us permission to go over on the big end of the track and do a burnout in this thing. Oh, a pool? Whew. Let's go pop some tires, man. Let's go, a, Let's go tear pool. it up. <laughs> <laughs> 